So I was scrolling away on Instagram, minding my own business. I mean, I wasn't, I'm very nosy and I like to know what's happening in terms of makeup. And I came across Makeup On Your Radar's post on this and I thought, what is this? What, what's going on? This looks really space agey. There's something about it that reminds me of the 2000s. What exactly is going on with this? This is something new coming to Chaotic Cosmetics. They're an indie brand and they've come out with some really interesting things in the past. They've definitely made me turn my head a few times and this one is no exception. Let's discuss. Under their post where they revealed this product, they said that it's called the Rainbow Pearl Face Glow, which is like, excuse me, what, what exactly is that? So does that mean that we're getting a little bit of like highlight, but without glitter, like if it's pearly, excuse me they say new year new chaotic products i kind of love that we are so excited to launch our very first rainbow hologram pearl face glow excuse me and i mean look at this look at these swatches that they've given they say this magical creamy liquid makes an out of this world base underneath makeup if that's what you want to do but they say they can also be used for an amazing dewy shift highlighter it's safe for face body and eyes you know me lads i love a multi-use product oh my god i think this is properly properly interesting i haven't bought anything from chaotic cosmetics before let's be fully transparent but this might be the one i'm really interested in this it's so Y2K, it's so rainbow. This is very interesting. And if it doesn't have like glitter particles in it, I mean, excuse me? Oh, I, I'm here for it. And this picture is also part of their marketing. And I mean, it's just on brand for Y2K. I mean, this is making me think of raves, of just general weirdness and joy and aliens and space. This is so on brand for what we're going to be seeing this year. And I am here for it. I feel like Chaotic Cosmetics have been working really, really hard in the background, building their brand. They've been very consistent. They've come out with a lot of stuff that has been genuinely quite interesting, but they've stayed true to their entire aesthetic. They are very rainbow themed. Now, I personally love that, but I love that they've kind of taken a twist on it here, but they've gone very much with what I think is what we're going to see this year, space, holographic, like all of these sort of themes, but also a revisiting of Y2K, but without it being like copy and paste from Y2K. This is genuinely interesting. I, I'm going to wait to see what the story is because I want to know A, how much product I would end up getting and be what the price is because all of that is going to inform what I will end up doing in the end because obviously this is a brand that is based over in the states so I'm not sure if it's American or Canadian I'm not sure but one way or the other that means a lot of taxes duties etc for me but mm, I am intrigued I have the intrigue it is buried deep within me let me know what you guys think do you find this interesting because those swatches uh, they're kind of speaking to my soul. 